so now whenever someone plays c5 then main goal is not just to play c5 actually see try to understand objective chess all of you what is the main theme of london the main theme of london is bring the bishop out and close the pawn chain correct yeah what does the bishop do on c1 what does it protect it protects a Uh, it, uh, protects. it protects this guy right and yeah. now the moment you bring the bishop out and close down the pawn chain nobody is protecting the pawn am i correct <laughs> yes so what i have seen people doing is pawn take pawn take and queen to b6 if you play normal move like c3 they are going to just cut the pawn and then eventually they are going to cut the rook knight c3 instead yeah so we go knight c3 now that's the main idea now what we are doing is guys we are saying if you want to take my pawn you can take it yes punch uh knight a4 knight a4 is decent knight a4 is decent but it will allow me to play queen to b4 check then pawn c3 maybe it protects the knight but then i go back and then i'm going back comfortably punch and now what the truth is that i'm still up a pawn it's a fantastic idea i want you guys to try it out here take some time and try and understand how do you move the knight you know knight a4 is a good attempt i must say but you understood the problem much what's the problem with that the problem is you allow me checks and then i go back to my home you go knight b5 now why knight b5 is such an important idea the important point is i'm going knight c7 and i'm saying you know what a rook i a, want your rook a free rook you took my pawn i want your rook what will black play black will play knight a6 why because now knight c7 is not possible anymore i hope till now everything is clear yes so yes because you have saved the knight already the bishop is guarding so that no one can take it now you attack the queen that's fine now remember guys the queen is almost almost getting trapped the queen cannot go c3 cannot go take pawn cannot go b3 cannot go a3 that's the power of the knight not even nothing nothing the queen can go yeah it only is trying to attack this pawn right so we we are sacrificing a pawn and again we attack because the moment the pawn is getting removed the file the straight line becomes open so i go here he repeats and if you want to draw the game you can draw the game but the fun part is rook sacrifice takes rookie sacrifice and now you get the piece who understood this line raise your hands please after queen b6 knight c3 they will say you know what your knight was going to here right every single time so i'll play bishop d7 and now this is where actual chess begins So first of all, what I did, I taught you a problem. What I did, I taught you a problem that he goes here, and then we have knight b5. But now what I am doing is it's level two. Black is already solving that problem. Now knight b5 is already taken care of, right? If your opponent is solving one problem in chess, you should think of creating higher level problems. So what I can do is I go knight e5. Now let them capture. Okay, knight b5 is taken care of. Okay, we go knight b5 anyways. He take, and now we go rook b1. Maybe a check, and now we say, you know what, bishop d2. You'll miss the fun of it. We are losing how many pawns are out there? How many pawns White has lost? White has lost a pawn on b2, and White has lost a pawn on d4. b4 but look at the activity you know look at the rook's activity look at the bishop look at the knight and now the fun starts bishop check i mean if you go here i take you you take me i take you you take me i go rook b7 check i get one pawn right guys yeah if you go back to c8 to try to attack me i'm having a very fun idea Rook c7 check, sacrificing full rook because you know what the queen is hanging. So there's a discovery right now on the queen. 
I just need the king on the dark square so that the bishop, a dark square bishop will move away to give a check and the queen will be lost. Interesting, no? Yes. Chess is very lovely. So he takes, we go bishop, check, and now we get the queen. Now, because you have understood the second problem, I will now try to pose the third problem for you guys. Okay, because chess is more about posing problems. Yeah, so earlier, before he takes the pawn, he was playing bishop d7 and we were playing knight e5, right? Correct? Yes. I'll, I'll still go bishop d7 and knight e5 and now I go a6. And now I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, you know what? I'm done with you. I'm not even allowing you to play knight b5 whatsoever. Now I will be kind of interested in taking your pawn. So have you understood the final element of today's? We say, you know what? Queen f3, please take my pawn. I'm being very generous today. I'm giving everything for free, right? Everything. Why knight b5 was required, guys? Because the knight was hanging. But uh, is the knight hanging right now? Of course not. So rook b1. How will he try to move his pieces around? Okay. So I mean, let's say queen to a3. Now, guys, time for some suggestions. All of you. Now, you guys are kind of understanding this situation, but I am more interested in now knowing some of the. <clears throat> First of all, also, you should understand there are no checks on the back rank even if the rook moves why because of the powerful bishop which control the c1 square so you should not worry about moving the rook upwards that is a hint what if we move the rook to b3 rook b3 you are saying to attack the queen i say i go here and i kind of pin you okay so rook b3 is decent but now i'm having home i'm going home now Right? Try to figure out. So you are having something, you know, rooks love what? Open straight lines. Yeah? Rooks love what? Straight lines. Uh, take, take the pawn by the rook. Take the pawn by the rook. He took your pawn, we took their pawn. Right? Yes. And now, you should not be worried about queen c1 check because it's not a check, He's it's just a queen blunder. Azan, because who is protecting? Bishop. Let me now make a random move because I have to now start developing as well. Okay, so suppose I'm moving this. My main plan is to bring Bishop and actually I want to get your Knight now. So now things are getting a bit interesting here. If you're also finding this position, finding this position a bit difficult to understand, you can screenshot it, you know, 